There it is. Welcome back. Um, so it's the day after. Um, we did the first resin coat. Uh, this morning, while the kids were getting up and the house was just kind of getting ready, I went ahead and cut the fiberglass strips uh, for the boat, and I'll show you that. So, and as I said, I'm, I'm doing the piecemeal portion of it. So I'm just going to do all the major joints for right now. Like that. There, that's better, right? It makes the whole thing. I'll come back and do the missing sections later. A couple things. One is um, I can't do the whole one sheet that I was talking about. I can't do that anyway because I thought I had ordered it online. Um, I guess I didn't. I guess I never hit the buy or order button or whatever it is. Um, so I just have these sheets here um, from Home Depot. Uh, this is the real fiberglassy fiberglass sheets. Uh, I also used before I had the cloth, which is less fiberglassy, more more like a cloth, and that's what I use for all my test pieces. So honestly, I haven't used this new stuff at all. Um, and just to show you what I'm dealing with, let me see if I can switch the camera here, somehow. Ooh, I don't know how to use this thing. To show you the differences of what I was talking about, um, so this was the fiberglass cloth, and this is what I've used for all my test pieces so far. Worked out really nicely. Um, this is the other fiberglass, I don't even know what it's called, fiberglass mat. Okay, so there's a the difference, mat, cloth. Mat, cloth. Uh, one thing that comes out of the mat, though, is it does get all this um, fibrous, break-apart strands, uh, which can be a good thing because there's something called peanut butter, which is where you mix the resin with the fiberglass, and then you can put it, um, mash it into these right angles to kind of smooth them out. So it's easier to do the fiberglassing if you have a smooth... Uh, slope versus that hard right angle. Looks like I killed a white cat on top of the boat. So this is my kind of uh, pseudo fiberglassing kit. Oh, look what I found. Gloves. Gloves. So today I will be using gloves. Very happy. These are not easy. Gloves. Safety first. Um, we're going to need you to just, uh, you know, bend over and cough. Okay. Thanks. Edit my butt out. That's awkward. Thank you, wife. I couldn't hit the record button with the gloves, the proctology gloves. Thank you. The worst part about this by far is when your pants are falling down and your hands are full of resin. It's not fun.
Well, um, I finished with the fiberglassing for the edges where everything's joined up. A uh, couple things to note. One, I'm really glad I found the gloves because that is a mess. Um, I got this stuff everywhere, everywhere. Um, it was all over when you're pouring. I think I had to go back and pour maybe eight times. Uh, and that just gets sloppy. You gotta, you just get resin all over you. I could feel the chemical reaction heating up. Uh, so yeah, definitely make sure that when you're fiberglassing like that to have gloves. Um, you really have to get in there and fold it, push on it, and, and doing your best to make sure there's no air pockets and stuff. Um, you have to get a lot more hands on and it's sloppy. Second thing I noticed, uh, the matting versus the fiberglass cloth. Uh, just with the two, the fiberglass cloth is a lot easier to work with. Uh, I might try to stick with the cloth going forward. The other thing is that it's hot here today. It's 87 in the shade. Um, so it's not really the temperature I'm supposed to be fiberglassing at. Uh, so we'll see how it comes out. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for the best. I'm out of focus. So it's um, still a lot of fun, and uh, um, I had a big mess to clean up though. I'll show you what it looks like after it dries. I'm gonna give it a day. Uh, it's Sunday, uh, just watch the Texans lose, and uh, tomorrow will be Monday, and then we'll come back and look at the results. <laughs>